Hey y'all, Asia Diani here. I'm back with another video. It's gonna be a little quick get ready with me. This is not a tutorial at all. I decided to start filming myself in the middle of doing my makeup and you will see once the video starts that everything is pretty much done except for my eyes. I wanted to film it because I wanted to show you guys what I did because I actually thought it was like really cute once I had the idea in my head of what I was gonna do. So if you're interested in seeing the finished look, Make sure you continue to watch and also make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed before you leave this video, okay? So here we go. First things first is I'm gonna go in with the white eyeshadow base that you guys always see me use when I do a cut crease and I'm gonna put it on a flat brush and just basically cut my crease like I always do. You guys know how I do it. And yeah, I'm gonna use this first. Half of my cut crease is going to be um, white, and then the other half is going to be pink. It's pretty simple, but it's really cute. So, yeah, I'm going to continue to put it on, put it on my second lid, get it all creased up, you know. You know how them cut creases work. Now I'm going to go into my full spectrum palette and use that white shade and put this only in the beginning. Like I said, I'm using white and pink. It's going to be really bright. I didn't want to do all pink because I feel like it was going to be kind of boring. So, y'all know I got to be extra and have all them extra colors on my eyelid. Now I'm going to go into my BH Cosmetics palette and use that pink shade that's in there. On camera, it's looking a little purple, but I promise you, it's the lighting. It's like blowing it out. I promise y'all. It's really hot pink. I'm going to use this only on the ends of my cut crease. And, um just pack it on as much as I can to get as much pigment as possible and I'm gonna blend it in so that it's not a harsh line or anything because I don't want to be looking cray cray so just blend 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 until it looks to your liking now you can see in a different lighting it is actually really pink and also disclaimer it was around five six o'clock in the afternoon while I was doing this so you're gonna see like the lighting change because it did start getting dark outside. I was racing against time and I was not winning y'all. But now I'm gonna go in with the eyeliner, a white eyeliner, and put this in my crease just to give a little extra pizzazz. Now I'm gonna go in with some NYX glitter, the pink, I forgot, I think it's called Rose. And I'm gonna dab that on very lightly where I have the pink eyeshadow at just to give it a little bit of sparkle. And so that's not so, you know, bland and dry looking. Because y'all know me. Y'all know I love glitter. So if I can add it, I'm going to add it. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter. Sparkle it up a little bit. Pat it in. And I added powder under my eyes just to catch any fallout. If y'all are wondering why I'm looking like crazy right now. So yeah, it's going to continue to pat that in. And now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. Y'all know I got to concentrate when I do this. I don't even want to do the voiceover. <laughs> I feel I get so stressed when I'm doing eyeliner y'all it's so hard sometimes <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna do a regular wing and bring it back fill it in it's weird doing this voiceover because I did not have any intentions on recording this so it's like I'm literally just going with the flow y'all I'm sorry but I feel like these are fun sometimes it ain't gotta always be planned it could be extremely real now I'm going to go in with that same pink eyeshadow and put it underneath my um my lower lash line. And it looks really harsh right now, but I promise it didn't look like that when I was done. It's because of the white powder. It's making it look, you know, it's making it stand out even more than what it really was. Because that's not how it looks at all. So yeah, I'm going to um just blend that in at the bottom. Then I'm going to go on with some Ofra mask and get ready to put on some lashes. I don't remember if I put the lash on the camera or not. I'm gonna put the lash, I mean the, yeah, the, uh, the lash, <laughs> the mascara on my bottom lashes. Now I'm gonna go in with some highlighter and yes, you guys can see I did put the lashes on off camera. I'm gonna just highlight and now I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution favorite nude colored lipstick. And I realized I wanted my lips to be more pink so I went into that eyeshadow. This is a trick that I do. Whatever color I want, I can always find it because I use an eyeshadow if I don't have it. And then I put some white in the middle just to lighten it up a little bit to give it that ombre effect. 
and you know, pat it in. Now I'm gonna set my face. I forgot what setting spray I used. And this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think. I know it was a little bit different. Different than my usual videos. My usual videos are actually planned out. This was like extremely random. But if you guys liked it, let me know in the comments below. Like I said, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Share this video, like this video, give it a thumbs up. You know what I mean. And I will see you guys next time, okay?